Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is my January wrap up and it will include a mini haul of anything that wasn't included <laughs> in my last haul. Sorry for being a bit distracted. I've got Jersey with me. Give me that. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, you can't even see him. He's still out of frame. But Jersey's here with me, as per usual. So I'm going to start off with the books I read. And then move along to the wait, no books I was given or bought. And by bought I mean either myself or Heather from the Life and Project bought them because we do share books a heck of a lot. So let's get started. First book I read was Nevernight by J. Kristoff. So this one is about a bunch of teenagers that are learning to be assassins and they go to a, um, it's kind of like a school to learn to be the best. Only four people from a class of about 20 become assassins, everyone else becomes hands, but that's if they survive. So that's the first book, Four Stars. The reason why it didn't get five for me is it jumped around in the storyline. Um, so when Mia was remembering, it jumped right back into those memories as if it was happening all over again. So that's kind of where it lost me a little bit because of the jumping around in time. So that's why that one was four and not five. This one also made me realize that I love animal companion stories. Um, you'll notice that the higher the book rating with an, like those with animal companions you'll find that they're definitely going to be four or five stars from me this book was one of them um, the old kingdom series has animal companions that are the, of the snarky kind like this um, my go-to recommendation for my favorite David Eddings the redemption of Outlaws has animal companions and there was one other series that had snarky animal companions and I can't remember it now. I am really bad at remembering things at times and it will come to me and I'll go, I'm an idiot. But anyway, that's one of the reasons why I love this was because of the snarky animal companion um, called Mr. Kindly. And so that was the first three. My second read was another Aussie author. I'm doing the Aussie Authors Challenge this year, so I've managed to knock off this month three of my six diverse books that I need to read. So the next was uh, The Ranged Apprentice, Jewel at Aaron Lewin. Again, kind of has a snarky companion, but it's not um, as overt. Um, in the Ranger's Apprentice world, it seems that the Ranger horses can communicate with their owners as a one-on-one -on -one type thing but it's not as overt as say Mr. Kindly in Nevernight or um, Emmy in The Redemption of Alphalus or Moggett in The Old Kingdom. So that's my second read. Also four star. This completes the Rangers Apprentice Royal Ranger trilogy um, and so it's about how um, the young princess has to rescue her mother from a siege of the castle and how her mother is also a very fierce young woman and helps fight back. So that's this one, that wraps up that series. Um, definitely recommend um, the Ranger's Apprentice line, so that includes the early years and the Ranger's Apprentice. Next was a, um, had a little bit of a reading evening with Heather from The Lichen Project, but I didn't want to start anything too heavy, knowing that I still had one book that I was waiting to read, to buddy read with her. So I, she picked out for me, the illustrated, an illustrated history of notable shadow hunters and denizens of the down world. Now, this is an interesting little book because... It has pictures that go along with um, 
the character cards. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find a specific one. I might have to watch the index and the page is on. Last two times I tried to do this video, he popped up immediately. Hey, I don't know if it's he or she actually. Yeah. Nope. Different cat, but it'll still work. So this time I picked Church. As you can see, it has a picture um, of the flower card that was drawn by Cassandra Jean, along with some information on Church. I decided to pick the cats because they don't give anything away. Well, actually, Church might a little bit, but again, that just tells you about the character and um, some notable information about them. So I read that entire thing in one night. Again, not hard to read. Um, again, four stars because it's just background information on some stories that I'd already read. Although it has given me some spoilers for the Lost Earths. Next, I read um, The Castle Behind Thorns. This is a Sleeping Beauty retelling. I guess, like from the feel of it, I believe it's a Sleeping Beauty retelling. Um, this one, I believe, Heather picked up. We bought a few boxes uh, quite a while ago of mystery books. Like, you didn't know what was in the box. You just bought the box of books for a set price and they were valued definitely over that. I think that was one of the ones that came up in it. Um, at the time, I wasn't really interested in reading and then I thought, oh, that looks interesting. I might add it to my shelf. Um, so I read that one. Um, this boy wakes up in a castle that was completely surrounded by thorns, has no idea how he got there, and has no way to get out. So this is all about him and the castle's single inhabitant trying to figure out how to get out past the thorns. Um, some strong religious themes in this one. So like saints and stuff like that appear through that one. So if you don't want a religious book, probably best not to pick that one up. Um, then we get to my buddy read with Heather from The Life and Project. This was my five star for the month. And this, I, no, I don't normally do a try and name a five star, but I do have this thing where if I think I'm going to give a book one or two stars, I, DN, I DNF. I'm not going to waste my time on books I don't like. So don't be surprised if you see a lot of four and five star, occasional three star, because um, I will not read a book I'm not enjoying. I'll just put it down and probably never come back to it. Um, so this is my five star. This is A Court of Wings and Ruin. It is the final book in the Akatar trilogy. I love The Court of Dreams. Those characters are amazing. Jersey, come here, buddy. Um, and so this was my book for the month. Um, and uh, if I could, I would befriend them all. Except maybe I'd be too scared to befriend Amran, but I definitely would love to go and at least visit Valaris. That place seems like an amazing place to be. Sorry, Jersey's demanding attention. Um, so that was this one. Then I got to read a couple of ebooks from another Aussie author, Demelza Carlton. Um, she writes Romance, a medieval fairy tale series. So I read two books from that series. I read Dance. I'm going to move off to the side so that I can place them right in the middle here. Um, I read Dance, Cinderella Retold, and Fly Goose Girl Retold. So for Dance, um, it had a very Milan style feeling to me in the in so far as she goes off to water fight in her dad's place. Um, and it is set in similar to China, I'm guessing. I'm not sure if it's actually ship set there, but um, it's definitely around the time of the foot binding that happened in China, because that is mentioned in the story. Um, with Goose Girl, two princesses go off to um, well, one princess gets sent to form a marriage alliance to prevent war from continuing. Um, and the other is sent as her uh, maid, maid in waiting. But as they go for their ride on their way, um, the girl that was meant to um, basically stop 
the wall gets knocked off her horse and the other girl um, basically tries, um, presents herself as a princess and as um, equal and tries to form an alliance. And so it's how she does her best to, to stop the war from continuing. Enough. Sorry. Josie's just demanding attention again. And, oops, <laughs> shuffle back. Um, the last book I read was one from that I read when I was in high school, and that is The Wind Singer by William Nicholson. This one is about a world where um, everything is orderly. You do your job, you get a ranking, every year you take a test and that changes your ranking. If you're in school, everything you do in school earns you points. Everything you do wrong loses you points and you go up and down in your rankings and therefore you can move to a nicer house if you get a higher ranking. If you drop below a certain ranking, you go down, down to a um, less nice house. So um, this is about a family in the Orange District, which is about middle of the road. They have a two bedroom house. Um, then it goes down to Marone, which is a um, two room house. So you have one bedroom and a living area, kitchen combined. Mm -hmm. Then you get grey, which is just a single room in a apartment block with a shared bathroom. Then you can go up to Scarlet, which is apparently a nice house with a nice little courtyard. And um, then you get white, which is this fancy big mansion style. The problem is, is because everything is so regimented, there's no real joy. There's, well, there's no fear, no anger. People aren't happy. All they want to do is they want to see people punished. They think that makes them feel better. And seeing someone else get put down so that they can feel better about themselves. So it's about these two twins heading off to go and see what they can do to make that better. So that was my four star reads, aside from the one five star. Um, and then I'm going to get on to the books I was bought or given. So I'm going to start with another birthday book. This wasn't included in my haul because I received it after the haul and that is um, Myth Match. I received this from my future father-in-law, which I won't be saying that after March. You'll be my father-in-law in March. Um, and what it does is it has mythological creatures. At the top it gives you a bit of information about them, but let's just flip to you can mix them up and create your own. So I just created a cat griffin. This celestial creation has the head of an eagle, the scale and tail and fins of a fish, and fearsome sharp talons. It symbolizes wisdom and intelligence and is renowned for guarding treasure. So I'm going to try and find a different one that matches. Because usually, like this one, the Capricorn, which has, this celestial creation has the head and horn of a goat, scaly tail and fins of a fish, nimble hooves on its front legs. It symbolizes wisdom and intelligence and is a star sign in the night sky. <laughs> I should know a little bit more about this because this is my star sign. So, yeah, now that's all my star signs supposedly look like according to her as I showed this. So yeah, that's the mix match. You just flip through it and I had a bit of fun with it. Mm -hmm. And I will continue to. It'll be good entertainment for when um, kids are around. Next book was um, a series of short stories that um, Heather and I bought because we really liked the look of it. Um, drawn to gothic -y style stuff. Yes! I am still a little bit of a goth at heart. Um, so anything high fantasy style I, I, I love and I just like the way this looked and the fact that I was familiar with some of H.G. Wells and I noticed that it had two of the more iconic ones from him, The Time Machine and The Invisible Man. It was about, it was less than $15 so we bought it. Um, then we got uh, another classic Journey to the Centre of the Earth. I read this in, sorry, read this in high school and I don't remember very much about it so I wanted to reread it and it was less than $10 so we got it. 
um, this one and she got the Scarlet Letter for herself. And then um, I am a lover of the um, Rick Riordan books which are um, all about what if the gods are running around America and by gods I mean Greek, Roman, uh, Egyptian and Norse. So it's four different series he writes. Um, this is the companion to the Carter Kane Chronicles which I'm actually yet to finish and this is the Magician's Handbook. We spotted it and it was less than 10 bucks and so I asked if I could have it and she bought it for me. So that is my rest of my haul for the month. So I ended up with quite a few books. Um, so a lot of books were gifted to me, a lot I bought with gift vouchers and then of course Heather and I got some books together because I kind of count if she buys them but really I'm the one that's going to read them first then I count them as mine because um, we share basically everything. So that is my wrap up for January. Be back in a new video for my Feb TBR if I haven't already posted it. We'll see. Bye!